Hey everybody, no I'm not just taking a picture of towels, I just wanted to show you what came in the mail the other day. Yep, it's upside down. No, it is a 8 inch low speed grinder. Oh yeah. And it, well wait, it's not in the box. Where is it? Let's go find out. I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, right there it is. There she be, a Rikon 8 inch bench grinder at 1750 RPMs. Look at that. And that's going to be my new, my new lapidary machine. And also... This box came. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's heavy. With a six inch, 320 grit centered wheel, centered diamond wheel, and a 600 grit cushy wheel. These are going to go on this and become Hopefully something special. So let's take a pause as I put this thing together. Bing! And, well, here we are. Yep. This is it with the two wheels on. And I am, huh, let me put it this way, I'm really tickled. These are six inch wheels from Kingsley North. This is a six inch, 320 grit, I believe. 325 grit centered diamond wheel you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of metal there that it's going to take me a long time to get through and this is a 600 grit uh it's not an over wheel it's the cheap version and the only reason i got the cheap version of that was because i wasn't sure if this setup was going to work with actually with this grinder and as you can see it's working pretty darn good um I had to go get, okay, after I took all the accoutrements off, these are the washers that were holding the, the grinding wheels on. I was able to use them on this side. As you can see, that one's in there, and that one's out here. It's this thing. Okay, that worked out really well. I had plenty of room to put that nut back on. This side, however, the centered wheel, the, shaft, that's not vodka, by the way. This side, the shaft is quite a bit thicker this way. This thing is almost a full inch and a half thick. As you can see, it's the full inch and a half thick. This one was not. And I was able to actually fit it on with these, but I had to turn it this direction. So I had to turn both of them opposite, and it made the wheel wobble because, as you can see, well, actually here, you can see that little bit of wear around there. The uh, spacers inside here for the go down to the 5 8 inch shaft. This wasn't big enough this way, okay, to go over the over the spacer. So I was actually shifting a little bit because. They were hitting the spacers and not holding onto the wheel itself. So I had to get some cheapo washers. There they are. And that gave me plenty of space to lock this thing in. And if you're wondering, you know, hooking up to a hook, putting these wheels on a grinder is usually a bad idea because it's the RPMs are so fast. But focus 1750 RPMs, which is pretty close to what your normal machines you know like your cab kings and whatnot run and let me plug this in just give me a, a second here okay now see this table here is what I do all my shooting on and oh good thing we have this definitely water so I'm going to turn this on Do you hear that? 
there's hardly anything to hear this motor is great and if you look at that water there is like almost zero vibration And if you can check out the wheel, that thing is spinning very true. This one's really spinning true. This one has maybe, maybe a 32nd of an inch wobble in it. And when I check it against the stuff in the back there, it's actually spinning pretty true. So when it slows down, you might be able to catch just the tiniest bit of wobble and there's not very much if any not enough that i think it would make a, any sort of problem whatsoever so this is working out so far excellent now all i have to do is get the watering system you know and i mean if you you know give that a spin and help it along as it goes it this thing has plenty of power i wouldn't even really have to do that if you look here at specifications, it's a half horse, three amp, 120 volt. And the big thing, 100, yeah, 1750 RPMs. So, so far, this is working out, like I said, this is working out excellent, and I am seriously happy. And all I've had to buy so far was just some washers. Probably you could get someone to machine out an arbor extender to fit on this. And all the more these wheels weigh, you could easily, easily get... Anyone has a metal lathe could whip out an arbor extender. You know, make that this long enough to fit two of these wheels on. And you would really be set. And this grinder here... Yeah, this grinder was $123 on Amazon. And these two wheels were like $100. 57 I'm not I can't remember exactly for sure I'll I'll put the prices in the description and the number for, for this thing and all that gobbledygook if you want to make one and because I'm not done yet but that is what it caught this $123 this this thing is it's got some guts to it and it's quiet and as you see there is no vibration slightest slightest little bit that I don't even think you can see it on the I don't even think you can see it on the video but yeah I, it's so much less noisy than those hey here old frats he's taking a nap but this will be going over there or I'll be making its own own bench for it I'm not certain yet for all the more it vibrates it'd be nice if I could put it on here but that's just not going to happen so Next thing is making the uh, shrouds around there to, to for the water dripping, water drippy system. And for that, we've got this here thingy. I picked this up at Walmart, and it's just a big storage container for whatever you want to storage in it. You know, this top comes off. And then this this thing locks out. It's a pretty nice container, to be honest. So we can be here like this, and we'll I'll cut this side out. And let me oh let me see. I had this loosened up. Yeah, it's loose. As you can see, this is disassembles pretty easy. And there's the spacers. Holy Moses, is this thing heavy? Ah. Only thing I think I'm going to have to do is, you can see inside there, I don't really want to get any type of water in there, so I'll make a rubber washer to fit over that, tight down to this shaft, and I got these three screw holes here. I can just attach it there, put a little smear of silicone around that, and make a rubber rubbery thing to keep any liquid from getting inside but this is going to be cut to accept will give me enough space to work so I can slice it like this and the 
drip pan can be down here at the bottom. Just not sure. I may have to build this up just a hair yet. Maybe three quarters of an inch or so, so I can get a decent drip pan here, but then have lots of space to get in and around and do my thing. Like, if you just brought it to there, that'd be kind of cramped, so I think I'm going to bring it back to this, to the actual foot of the thing. So, that's why I want to put that rubber space, rubber washer in on around there, which will not be too difficult to fabricate. So, I'm going to work on making these, and I shall be right back. Well, here's pretty much what I got. This is going to well, be just like that, actually. There's the lid. It's cut out here. Don't know if I'm going to have to have something here to maybe keep the water from splashing, but I need to have it open at least to there so I can get some movement there. Well, you know what I'm saying. So let's see. I put, I think this is pretty cool. But that is just setting on there like that. And yeah, the wheel's a little wobbly because I don't have it set in there properly. But yeah, there's nothing. I even have it setting up on this piece of junky piece of plywood and there's no vibration or carrying on. The wheel is wobbly there. Because I have to I have to get that straightened out. Like I said, I just threw that on there without even without making making it look really nice just so I could see how this shroud works but pretty much this is how it's going to be here the bug hello Mr. Bug but anyway the next thing is the watering system I'm not going to make the other side until I get everything figured out alright so I will be back after I get everything figured out one minute well I just got back from Lowe's with a bag full of stuff to do all the plumbing things on there. And you know how much it cost? It cost me 50 bucks for this stuff. <coughs> 50 bucks. I'm like, are you kidding me? But uh, there's the receipt. Fifty-two seventy-five. Fifty-two seventy-five. <sighs> and I forgot to get stuff to drain. You do anything that has to do with plumbing, it's freaking insane. Okay, um, I got the water thingy hooked up, and it's dripping down onto it. It goes into the bucket. It's got a little pump there, and I have to have the pump high because it doesn't have enough power to pump when it's from the floor up. But hey, all right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start it up and see exactly what happens. Are we ready? Hey, it's doing pretty good, but it's splattering all over the place. But we've got, hmm, is that wet? No, it's not wet. Ah, ha, ha. Help. Okay, we had a little bit of splatterage problem. A ah, little splatterage problem going on there. And honestly, we can fix that with just something here to keep it from splattering down. But this, as you can see when I open it up a little bit, It works for watering the water in the wheel, which is a good thing. See, we've got drippage going on there. And, yep, of course it's not centered, even though I thought I measured it center. But hey, but to turn it off, it's just boom. So that's a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good valve there. Like I said, I'll put the description and what all these are in the thing afterwards. But apart from the splatterage, 
we've got making the wheel wet. Ugh. Mm. Getting it everywhere. But anyway, yeah, I just need to have some kind of splatter guard inside there. Probably a paintbrush. I've seen them that used before, and well, that'll be the next thing. This seems to be working pretty nice. There's not a whole lot of water getting getting on everywhere in there that I can see anyway. And although I forgot to get the drain, ah, and this is very splattery. But all in all, I think we're doing good. So I will be back with more of how this is going. Don't go away. Okay, in case you may not have noticed, this is not what it looked like a few minutes ago. That's because this absolutely did not work out for crap. So I had to, oh, wait a minute, pattern, gotta save that. So I had to go back to plan A. And yes, back to plan A means exactly what it sounds like. This was plan A in the first place. This was plan B. And for some reason, my muddled, idiotic brain <laughs> Yeah, thanks, buddy. My muddled, idiotic brain said, no, let's go with something like this. All you have to do is cut it instead of making something. That'll be so much easier. Well, it wasn't, and it cost me a day. So, this is plan A. Plan A was a cake pan from Walmart. Cheapo thing, about three bucks. And I was going to use thicker cutting boards, but I found these at the Dollar Mall for a buck a piece. And, well, eek. there they are. And you may look at that and say, oh, yeah, he's making stuff out of cutting boards. It's like, well, no. You look at this, and it says, cutting board. And you say, oh, yeah, it's a cutting board. Well, if you don't look at the label, what is it? It's a sheet of HDP, conveniently about an eighth inch thick, just perfect for crafting. So these are like little sheets of high-density plastic that you can use for darn near anything. They're not a cutting board unless you put that sticker on. So this side it's used for crafting. That side, this side it's used for cutting board. But anyway, now I have a very, <laughs> very sturdy, very waterproof, and very efficient cage for around that. And comes right off like that. Sorry about the quality of the video here. I have to hold it. Fits on there like that real well. I may have something just to hold this. This is going to need trimmed a little bit, I think. But I'll be able to put my valve in there with the water. And a nice flappy here that I can flappy about anywhere I want. And then we will be in like Flint. See, I can drill through here, put the flap thing. Drill through here, put the flap thing on there and boop you know, bring it down just where I need it to be. So I will be back with more of this adventure. Don't go away. Alrighty, I have the water hooked up and I have the valve, well, the valve's there. And I have a spray nozzle thingy that I'll show you in better detail later. Just a short piece of hose like that plugged at the end and then tiny, tiny holes drilled in it that spurts out. The water so I know I'm gonna get splashed here but I want to see how this whole system works boy that works nice okay now we're gonna turn on the water and oh look at that here it comes here it comes here it comes aha okay the one's spurting everywhere help help <laughs> well there we go I think if I have something down like that that should be just about whoo that should be pretty darn good. I just gotta get the spray floppy thingy, whatchamacallit, in place, and wow, and that is quiet. Okay, I gotta, wait, I got a hand to shut this off. Anyway, <coughs> I got this, I decided to put two bolts in here, 
just to hold that steady on there. That's probably why that shifted a little bit. But it don't matter. I can turn this to those water thingies to hit that, however. That is kind of weird. Why is that not... Now I'm confused. Yeah, but that, that don't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly at the wheel. Because I can turn that so the water shoots onto the wheel. I adjusted those a little bit, and it's working a little bit better. But I still got to get this this coming down the guard thingy on there but all in all i mean look how smooth that works might get a little piece of rubber and put here so it rolls down over just so i don't throw water all over the place but all in all that's pretty good but i'm gonna try and put this flappy dappy thingy on there and see where that goes so i shall be back Okay, after a little bit of, uh, well, it wasn't a little bit of anything. It was just, I just used a pattern that I had from the previous one. And there we go. And, oh, I don't have it plugged in. Well, duh. There we go. I don't have the water running, but the water works really well. You can see there's some water in there now. But all I need is just to get the, the splatter shield on here. And and then it'll be fine. I mean, apart from that, it's working absolutely wonderfully. Those things are keeping the water from flying everywhere. Uh, I just need to get something on there for a splatter shield. Like I said, I'm going to get a... Actually, I'm going to get a bigger paintbrush and put on there like this. Because those seem to work really, really well. But I don't have any paintbrushes. And, well, that's what I have in mind right now. But, there we go. As of tonight, we've got the water hooked up. The two hoses. Two hoses, the two valves. Those valves work exceptionally nice. I've got those ho little tiny bits of hoses running there with the holes in it. And as you can see, or as you can hear, listen, there's hardly any noise on that. So I'll be able to, uh, you know, work these pieces and talk to you while I'm doing it. And it's going to be going over there. And, Geraldo Frats, would you at least move, for the love of God? This, uh, this thing's going to be taken apart, and this is going to be gone. I don't know what he's going to do to sleep then. But this is going to be gone, and this whole thing will be housing this. So we're going to be really cooking along here shortly when I get the splatter shield on here. So I will be right back with, hopefully, the splatter shield on there. Don't go away. Okay, here's what we have so far. <laughs> Watering systems hooked up and into the bucket. We've got the guard here, which is, oh, somebody wants me, able to be moved and adjusted however we need to so I can get the thing off. Okay. So now we're going to plug in the water. Oh, see it's moving a little bit. Let me turn it on. There it goes. Oh, we've got water. Okay, so let's see if we got super spray well it's only coming out the top which I knew I was gonna have to cover up but look at that wheels nice and wet Woohoo! we are yeah we are getting there but yep I just got to do something to cover that up but that looks like it's gonna be really good for the wheel let me shut this one off ah, wrong way there we go Woo all right let's turn the water on this side Got pretty much the same thing going here too. A little bit of spray over top coming out there. I knew I had to get something to put on there. I mean, I know that. But look at that. We've got wow, that wheel is nice and wet. I can adjust that water nicely. These valves are really good. Oh, look at that. If it wasn't for that spew spewing out, we'd be alright. 
but hey, here we go. I'm gonna call this a win already. Because all I need to do, I haven't really shut this off. All I need to do is put something on here to keep the, the water from shooting out through there. And we are ready to go. Okay, it's been a few more days than I wanted it to be. We've got the flappy thingy. And you can see in there, there's the guard that keeps the water from flapping out above the flappy thingy. The valves, the valves, water, bucket, my pump is not big enough. I have to get a little bit bigger pump. But considering that is the smallest pump that Amazon had to offer, well, the least expensive pump Amazon had to offer, and I've been using it for the last two, three years, and I only had to pump a foot before, it's doing pretty good. Got the motors set up, and let me turn that on. And that's all the louder she is, people. Like I said, we have 750 RPMs, which is acceptable for these type of wheels. And these housings are built in. I actually drilled a hole down through there and ran it down into the bucket. So this table is very proprietary for this machine, which I don't think is a bad thing. If I make another one, I'll probably just make a different table and put it here and make it circle around. Did he catch that? Around. Put the bucket there and then put one there, one here and one there. Still have to make a do flangy to come out to hold the phone so you can watch me cut. And I think that's gonna work out pretty good. I can put that in here someplace. Oh yeah. Maybe, maybe something like that. Maybe zoom in on it so it's out of my hair. But we can figure that out here shortly. It doesn't splatter too much. I could probably put it right up here, but then you wouldn't be able to see what's going on. And right there is where my face is. If I'm doing stuff, face is... Oh, actually, that would be pretty good right there, I think. But I said, we'll work on that. But there she be. You know, it's really, really quiet glory. All in all, I am pleased with it. Okay. We don't oh, want that there. Okay, it's pretty much done. I mean, we've got centered wheel on this side, 320 grit, and 600 grit um, diamond wheel there. You know, soft gushy. Valves, water into the thingy, and... A thing I can switch back and forth so we can, well, you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So the next thing to do is, let's place this and move this over here. This is completely articulated so I can move it however I need to, to have it so we can see what's going on. And if I knew how to articulate the thing, that would probably help. All right, so I'll have to crank this up, turn that on. Listen to all the louder that is. I mean, how much better than that can you get? All right, let's crank on the water. And there's the water coming through. Okay, we've got plenty of water. Now all we need to do is show you how this here works. Oh, this is the first official cutting. As you can see, in here, that's actually doing pretty good. Let me turn this off. Maybe I don't even need this light. Uh, maybe I will need that light to zoom in a little bit. Maybe that's all I need is just a little, little more light. But there's what I got. And I'd worked on this stone a little bit. I wanted to show you all how this works. And if you've 
used one of these machines before, like a store-bought one. I mean, you know how they, you know how they work, but you know, maybe you can compare it to this to get an idea if this one's comparable or not. Turn the volume of water down a little bit. What I like is I can actually talk to you here and not have to worry about screaming over top of the horribly loud machine. And I still have to get used to using this machine. It is quite different than a flat lap when you're making cabs. But I'm thinking, hmm, thinking it's going to be better. Hmm, how's that look? Pretty darn good. I do have to get better light source, I believe. Now that's pretty good for that side, so let's move all this over to the other side. Turn off the water. And all I have to do is take this. And, well, and do that. Hmm. You have to go out a little bit. Okay, turn the water on this side. And this side seems to be a little bit more spraying than the other side does. And I know it's going to be loud. Yeah, this one's going to be much louder. And these type of wheels, I'm not sure how to use these. You know, I've never used the... I've used the diamond hard lap, but I've never used these softer softer ones I'm not sure about the pressure not sure about the pressure or anything yet and I don't want to wear it out right away but I don't want to not use it the correct, correct way too But it seems to be working out pretty good. There, I needed more water. That helps. Something just fell down, that scared me. Just need to get a little bit better lighting. But, whew, you know, I'm pretty, pretty tickled with how this works. The lighting might be better if I stop putting my fist into it. Oh, there, that's better. So any of y'all out there that works these type of wheels can give me some advice on using them. That would be mostly greatly appreciated. But turn that off. There's what there's what I got made. I think that's pretty darn acceptable. So let me get this off of here get that turned back to normal size and there's my cabbing machine and like I said that was hundred and twenty seven dollars the wheels were two hundred and something odd dollars and all in all even with all the parts and the five fifty two dollars and seventy cents worth of plumbing I believe I have four hundred and fifty dollars or less or right around in that into this and if I wouldn't have got that centered wheel, that would have been a fair amount off. So you could easily say for 400 bucks, you could put one of these together just like this. And like I said, I'll put the exact prices and stuff down in the bottom. And, well, I guess that's about it. If you like the video, you know, hit the button down there, subscribe. And... I'm going to be making some more modifications to this as time goes on. So I'll let you know how those work out. So thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening.